Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm reading a book about uh, myths and fables from the Star Wars universe. Stories about the Star Wars past. They're made up. They're fiction. <laughs> You've got a question about the past. Mm. Okay. You can ask it. What's it about? <laughs> it's about gardening. <laughs> Why do they chop down all the palm trees? All the palm trees. <laughs> you got a branch here. <laughs> this is your branch for me, celebrate cutting down all the palm trees. We don't celebrate cutting down all the palm trees. <laughs> On the Sunday. <laughs> Do you mean Palm Sunday? <laughs> Why do we have palms on Palm Sunday? Palms are a symbol of goodness, well-being, grandeur, victory. They're used as a, a, a way to represent joy and triumph. And when kings and conquerors of the past were entering a town or a city, they were welcomed by people uh, laying palm branches across the ground and waving them in the air. <laughs> That's what yours is for. Waving up in the air. King Solomon even uh, had them carved on the walls and door of the temple. Did they like these kings? Mm. Yes. That's why they would go out and uh, celebrate uh, and welcome the, the king or conqueror. Did you mean the people like Jesus? I think they were excited about the idea of Jesus. Some of them probably really liked him, but others might have just been getting caught up in the, in the moment. Why did they kill him? Kill him stone dead. Mm. Well, the people who out, went out welcoming him on Palm Sunday uh, were really, really excited about the idea of a particular king or conqueror who would come and rescue them from the Romans. And I suspect they didn't really care too much as long as they were picking one who was going to beat the Romans. And when this Jesus didn't fit the bill, didn't meet their expectations, they were happy to transfer their uh, support to somebody else who possibly would. Do you, do you follow politics at all? You like the American one? Because they're very energetic. You know how when they're beginning to pick a person to to be their representative, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they start with lots of people. Yeah. And what happens when the person that they really like the first up looks like they're not going to have the numbers to get through? Mm -hmm. They go for the second one. Mm -hmm. We go to the third and fourth. And maybe even to the fifth one. 
know, that person will run and hopefully get elected. Mm. Maybe they don't, but they're the one that gets to try. Mm. Yes. And, uh, and at each stage, the different people were excited about different candidates and were willing to change their support and allegiance based on on who they thought was going to be that last person uh, uh, standing to, to run. Now, unfortunately, one of the great sadnesses of Jesus' day was that when people were running for parliament, or for, for government, or setting up alternative forms of government, after all, Jesus being the king, he was going to be being king over worlds which were already ruled by other kings and emperors. Mm -hmm. Yes, like the Romans. And that was always going to offend large groups of people who liked the Roman government. And at the end of the day, when Jesus didn't offer the kind of government that the, the people were after, they were happy to turn and find somebody who would, or they thought would. <laughs> Even though that meant they had to kill him. Yeah. But not everyone was against Jesus. And even today, we have people who choose Jesus to be their king and follow him, even though they live in other countries and under other forms of government, knowing that Christ rules over the world. Yeah, that will lead into the story of Easter. That's all you wanted to know then? Oh, okay.